Just days after laying him to rest, Michael Sutter's party is in turmoil over who should fill his shoes. It's an issue that sparked divisions. Patriotic Front Secretary General Edgar Lungu, the last person vested with the powers of acting president by Sata, seems to be the front runner. But not everyone supports him, including acting president Guy Scott, who earlier this month dismissed Lungu from his post, only to reinstate him after pressure from the party faithful. The internal strife has left some here looking to the future with trepidation. So there are question marks, there are uncertainties about what would happen whether PF, if it lost, would accept defeat. The presidential election is due to be held in January. But who will the patriotic front be coming up against? The two leading opposition parties are the former ruling movement for multi-party democracy, MMD, and Hakainde Hichilema's steadily growing United Party for National Development. The MMD faces its own crisis over a candidate with former President Rupia Banda planning to come out of retirement, while current party leader Nevas Mumba thinks now is his time. The disarray would play into the PF's hands, which will likely talk up its achievements on the campaign trail. The ruling party will try and ride on the legacy of the late president. Uh, rural, road construction, electricity, and so on. But that alone may not be enough to guarantee victory. People may vote the opposition not because it's, it's weak, it's strong, but because they want to change. So it sometimes it has nothing to do with the, the way the opposition was organized. PF won the 2011 election, not because it was well organized. It won the 2011 election because people were tired of MMD. It sets the stage for an intriguing next few months. Can the advantage of incumbency carry the day for the PF? Or will a possible opposition alliance that is being talked about more and more here see yet another change in order in the Southern African nation? Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Lusaka, Zambia.